Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host Laura and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. A new study in the U.S. looked at where the most per capita spending on video games took place and came up with some surprising results. Analytics group Bundle tracked where the most consumer spending takes place within the video game industry. They analyzed data from GameStop for physical product purchases, as well as Steam for digital distribution. The firm also studied credit card transactions from people who lived in the 100 most populated cities in the country. Bundle found that the most per capita spending for video games came from Huntington, New York. Huntington is a suburb of New York City, situated right in the middle of Long Island. The city with the second most per capita video game spending is actually another Long Island town, North Hempstead. Laredo, Texas came in at third place, but no one was anywhere close to Huntington whose residents managed to spend more than four times the national average when it came to video games. North Hempstead ranked at 2.32 times the national average, and Laredo is 2.23 times the national average. Retired pro basketballer and coach Bill Russell has filed a lawsuit against Electronic Arts for using his likeness without his permission. A former player, then coach of the Boston Celtics, alleged that EA used his image in a Tournament of Legends feature as part of one of its NCAA basketball video games without asking him and without paying him. Russell is looking to block further sales of the video games and receive profits from the previous sales along with unspecified damages. Just last month, EA won a dismissal on a similar case in which Rutgers University quarterback Ryan Hart had alleged the company didn't have the legal right to use his likeness in its NCAA football titles. Wisconsin has stolen the video game cosplay world record from London, England. That's right, a Milwaukee, Wisconsin costume company, By Seasons Incorporated, managed to gather together 425 video game cosplayers in one place, shattering the previous Guinness Book World Record set at a London video game convention back in 2009. A horde of Mario's, Pac-Man, and Angry Birds flocked to the special event, eager for a chance to prove that Wisconians could beat a world record. While they waited for the official word, Angry Birds did the chicken dance, and Pac-Man Ghost chased some of the Pac-Men. For one brief shining moment, Wisconsin was on top. An increasing number of video game developers in the UK are turning to self-publishing. In its State of Development Sector Report, TIGA said that nearly half, 47% of UK game developers self-publish at least some of their games. 50% of developers said that retail remained the primary revenue earner for their titles, while 47% said they liked selling their games through online stores like Xbox Live and the iOS App Store. Of those who self-publish, 67% target the iPhone, while 45% target the iPad. The report also revealed that the smartphone market is emerging as the most popular platform for video games. A third of UK game studios admitted that their progress was being hampered by subsidies offered to competitors in foreign countries like Canada, France, and Australia. Now for some games releasing this week. Ace Combat Assault Horizon is another installment of the Ace Combat Arcade Combat Flight video game series developed for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The major new gameplay feature is a system called Close Range Assault, which aims to increase the intensity and bring the action closer to the player. Might and Magic Hero 6 is a turn-based strategy video game for Microsoft Windows, distributed by Steam. It is the sixth installment of the Heroes of Might and Magic series. The gameplay of Hero 6 represents a step away from the five original installments. About half of initial schematics, including spells, skills, abilities, heroes, units, and buildings, will remain present, with the other half being innovative. That's all the news I have for today. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Love and peace from my PC to yours.